Hey y'all, this is Cindy Murray from Crafty Neighbor, and I am at the Scrap Stamp and Art Tour in Mesquite, Texas. And I'm at the Creative Vision Stamps Foilables booth, and I'm getting ready to do this neat little make and take. Can you show them what it's gonna look like when we're finished? And we're gonna use the Mink by Heidi Swap to make this cute card. So I'm hoping I don't mess it up. You're gonna to wanna to start with this one and this one first, set those down. Okay, I'm gonna move these out of the way. This one and this one. I have one of these at home and I've never used it. Well, now you're gonna go home and use it. <laughs> I know it's easy because I've watched it before, but I forget, so. This okay. is a duster. This is very important. You're okay. gonna dust your images before you put the foil. The reason for that is when you cut, rather you're cutting at home with scissors or a paper cutter, you know there's always dust. dust left. right? So okay. you're gonna take your duster, you're gonna dust each one one time. Okay. Okay. Now you're gonna take this. This is our feeder paper. This okay. is what we're gonna put the image down on. Then we're gonna lay the foil and run it through. Now we're using a quarter sheet instead of a half sheet because the mink only has a six inch opening and not a nine inch. Right. Okay. So we're gonna start with our quarter first. Put that there. Reverse. Turn it around oh, the other this way. This way. Okay. Because you never want to put the foil right up to the edge because mm -hmm. when you do that, it's gonna pull it in, and you always want to leave a border because foil shrinks as it heats. Okay. So you're gonna take your larger piece of foil, okay. shiny side facing up towards you, up. and you're gonna lay it down. You're gonna run it horizontal. This way. Yes, ma'am, because that's going to leave, once again, a larger border. Okay. So now you're going to close it up. You're going to rub it. Make sure there's no bumps, okay. bumps or strains. And then you're going to feed it through the machine. All right. Once the machine grabs it and you feel it going, you're going to let go. Okay. This is easy, y'all. Okay. So now you have that set up. So now we're going to go to your brown, and then you're going to find your glitter. So you're okay. going to find your brown one, and then you should have a piece of glitter. Piece of glitter. You're going to flip that glitter over. You're going to take your tear tape down two sides, you're going to put tear tape. Okay. You're only going to use it on two sides because the tear tape is very strong and very sticky and it's overkill to run it on all I love this tape. I use it for everything. Now you're going to go ahead and peel it off, expose the other sticky side and you're going to adhere it to the brown. Okay. And while you're doing that, your piece has come out of it. The okay. mink, you want to let it cool because this is a cool peel. Okay. So while we're waiting for that to cool, we're going to go ahead and run our small piece through. All right. When you lay that small piece down, you're going to lay it where it goes vertical. This way. Now you're going to take your foil and you're going to do the same thing. Lay it down shiny side up. Oh, that's You already right. failed. No, I'm just I did. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you have that border all the way around. Fold it down, rub it, make sure there's no lumps or bumps, okay. and run it through the machine. And this um, support paper is just regular, regular piece of paper. paper okay so while that's going through you're now down to your cool temp so you can peel it okay do i need to rub it or nope. anything no you need to peel it and just pull it back wow see how easy that, that was result. that's awesome you're going to take your card base now and you're going to put that onto your card base same process uh, okay. tear tape on two sides okay Does it matter? It's oh, up to uh, you. From up, here on out, it's up to you on how you want to do it. I've had some ladies today where the card <laughs> opens horizontally there we go. not vertically. Okay. Okay, so now what you're going to do is just check to make sure that it's cool and at room temp, so that's cool to the touch. Okay. Peel that the same way you peel the larger one. All right. And now you're going to want, now this is where we don't have pop dots. So okay. So you can either mount it flat or you can save this to later and use a pop dot to pop it. Okay. So you can I think I may wait. Up, so then what but I'm going to put it on that here. That part is complete. That's what it looks now, like. Now, if you notice here, you have negatives. Yes. So there is a way to use that negative. So we did the deer. It came out with the solid. Oh, my like goodness. We did Are you, a light you show this? First. Show, show the negative again. Okay, so, so she has a negative. Started. That's the image you start with. Then you take your negative, put it down. So we did the first one in gold. Then we took the negative for the green, laid it down, ran it through. And ran it through a second and time. And then you come out with the green stars. Wow, that is awesome. And then this, this is still usable. You can do the same thing again. Or you can take a double-sided tape, lay it down, lay this down, and rub it. And you can reuse it. 
Very nice, very nice. And that is all there is to it. Great. Thanks for watching, and I will put some log, some info in the comments, and we'll see you next time.